add or subtract rational expressions, we must have the same or like denominators. As soon as we recognize that we don't have like denominators, the first step is going to be to factor the denominators. So for this example here, we're going to start by factoring x squared minus 16. So we have x minus 4 all over, this is a difference of squares, so it will factor into two binomial factors where one factor is x plus 4 and one factor is x minus 4. Now for the second fraction, we just have 3 all over x plus 4. Now if we go back and take a look at this fraction here, notice how we have a factor of x minus 4 over a factor of x minus 4. So this actually simplifies to 1. So now we just have 1 over a factor of x plus 4 plus 3 over a factor of x plus 4. So we kind of lucked out here because when this fraction simplified, it gave us a common denominator. So now we can add these two fractions by keeping the denominator the same and adding the numerator. And since one plus three is equal to four, we have four over the quantity x plus four. Now we do need to be careful here. We cannot simplify this four and this four because we cannot simplify across this addition. So this would be our simplified fraction, though sometimes you will see it where, because we have one factor in the denominator, the parentheses are dropped. So either of these two forms would be acceptable. Let's take a look at our second example on the next slide. Again, as soon as we recognize that we do not have a common denominator here, the first step will be to factor the denominators. So we'll have x all over two binomial factors. The first terms will be the factors of x squared, which are x and x. The second terms will be the factors of six that add to positive seven. That'll be positive six and positive one. So we have x plus six here and x plus one here. We'll leave some space, minus four over a factor of x plus one. Now remember our goal here is to determine a common denominator. Notice how this denominator here does not contain the factor x plus six. So we can multiply the denominator by x plus six as long as we do the same to the numerator. Remember x plus six over x plus six would be equal to one. And now that we have a common denominator, we can subtract by keeping the denominator the same and subtracting the numerators. So we'll have the quantity x plus six times the quantity x plus one. Remember we can write these factors in either order because it would not affect the product. And now in the numerator we have x minus four times the quantity x plus six. So now we're going to clear the parentheses in the numerator and combine like terms. And because we have subtraction here, we can think of distributing a negative four. So we'd have x minus four x minus 24. Our numerator contains two like terms. One x minus four x would be negative three x. So we have negative three x minus 24 all over a factor of x plus six and a factor of x plus one. Now we always want to see if we can try to simplify. To do this, we'll factor the numerator and the greatest common factor here would be three, but let's factor out negative three. That will leave us with x plus eight. Notice in factored form, we can see we do not have any common factors between the numerator and denominator, and therefore we know it's in simplest form. This would be our difference. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.